everyone, it's Maria with you today and thank you for joining me once more in UK Scrap Addicts and welcome to another episode of Watch Me Struggle to Position Pattern Paper. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, as you will be able to see um, in the video in a minute, um, I'm positioning um, my photos on the pattern paper and, and I come up with a design that I really like but then I move everything again to in order to glue it and because I'm filming with my phone, I can't take a photo of what I'm doing. So then I don't remember what I just did and I end up positioning them in, in a completely different way. So see, I'm trying to remember that. I'm I'm looking at it thinking, yeah, that goes on top of that one. Yeah, yeah. And for a minute, I thought of using um, wet glue as you see there on the left hand side. However, the problem I, I find with wet glue is that sometimes it can it, it gets very wet and it affects the paper. So I, I end up using my um, my tape uh, runner, but then now I can't remember what I did with the papers. <laughs> so uh, well, uh, never mind. I, I end up really liking what how it comes comes out in the end. So no harm done. But yeah, um, fun things, isn't it? I, I don't know. I sometimes watch uh, some YouTube videos of other scrapbookers that uh, can exactly remember what they've positioned everything before then committing and gluing everything down. Or even people like, for instance, Shimel, they position everything and then they kind of lift it and, and add the glue underneath. I don't know how they do it because I, I've tried doing that a few times and, and it just doesn't work for me. So, as you can see, I've, I've done my pattern paper. Oh, did I say? Sorry, this month's uh, topic is um, monochrome. So, for a lot of people, uh, monochrome is just black and white. And I wanted to go with that um, concept, but also adding an accent colour. And the accent colour I've chosen is pink, because you can't really see it very well. But my daughter's trousers has got a tiny spot of pink, and, and it's the only real colour that... Uh, comes out of the photo. All the other colors are quite neutral. Um, so I wanted to bring that. Um, so yeah, I've gone for, for that. Um, monochrome could be like different shades of the same color. So if you go green monochrome, green, you can use different shades. But I decided to, to do my monochrome would be pink because um, that's the accent color that I've used and the rest is just very neutral. It doesn't really count as a color. So um, I'm using um, the embellishments that you saw me positioning there earlier are from Felicity Jane, which you can't get in the UK very easily. You you can get them in the UK, obviously, if you buy them from the US, but um, the, t the customs and the tags and all of that and the shipping cost makes it a bit pricey. But I was uh, luckily, lucky enough to buy a couple of um, collections uh, online secondhand. So that's what I'm using. Um, before I glue all my embellishments, uh, you saw me just a second ago do some splatters with uh, watercolours. So the black splatters are watercolours and the white one is uh, um, white paint that I watered down a tiny bit with uh, water in order to uh, make it splatterable. Is that a word? Splatterable? <laughs> it's a trick that I learned at... Um, one of the workshops uh, with Paige Evans uh, by the lovely ladies of Birds of a Feather. Um, I didn't know because I have got white um, watercolour, but when when you actually splatter with white watercolour, you can't really see it. So the the trick with the white paint, uh, acrylic paint will do, um, is quite good because it, it, the white really shows. Now I'm thinking of my title. Uh, I've, I've gone ahead and stuck all my embellishments that I'm going to use the, that down. And I'm thinking of my, my title. I want to use the happy. And, and my idea was to say happy girl. Um, and I've got this big massive pink paisley um, alphas that I really love but I'm running out of usable letters so I didn't have any R's or any L so I couldn't spell girl and I was trying to think of something else to write but I wasn't being inspired and I really wanted to use girl so I I find um, some thickers by um, I think it's the girl squat collection that has got the girl uh, word on it so I, I go for that. So I'm just gluing my um, my title and my embellishments and all of that. I'm, I'm using because the the frames are quite thick. In order for me to um, position the word happy where I want I want it to be, I I need to add some foam pads to re the rest of the wor word. So um, so the H. 
um, sits over the frame, but the rest is uh, glued to the background. Um, and now, whilst I'm thinking of my title, yes, Happy Girl is uh, quite good. However, because my my daughter has been so funny in the in the photo, I decided to add Anne Crazy, and I'm using this Tim Holtz uh, mini alphas, which I absolutely adore. Um, they were out of stock at Hobbycraft for ages and, and you couldn't get them. You could get them online on some websites, but the postage was just so ridiculous that it wasn't worth it. So I waited until they were back in stock at Hobbycraft and I bought like three packs. So I will have alphas forever. And I'm doing the last finishing touches to my layout. Um, just a few more bits from the Felicity Jane collection and I also will be doing um, some journaling. I really love doing journaling on my pages always, even if it's just one sentence or two about this moment in time, where why this photo was taken or what was happening at that time. And uh, I will also be adding a couple of uh, sequins um, to each of these platter clusters, um, the clear um, sequence so that you can't see them very well, but they add a, a nice texture. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me this month. And I hopefully I will see you again very soon at UK Scrap Addicts. Uh, come join us in our brand new group on, on Facebook and or on our page on Facebook too, and our blog and our YouTube channel. Cheers, guys. Bye.